What's up, people? So we're back here in the tiny house conversion, and today we have beautiful weather, so I figured I'd spend the day out here in the shed working. I got the door open. I'm about to open up these windows, let all this air come through. Today I'm going to be working on staining these uh, kitchen cabinets. I picked up from uh, Fix and Feed, the local uh, hardware store. It's a uh, Minwax Poly Shade Stain and Polyurethane in one step. So I went with the Honey Pine Satin. So hopefully this will look good. I didn't want it to come out too dark, so I figured this uh, honey pine color should almost match the cedar up on the ceiling. So we'll find out here in a second. But I'll be doing that today. Also, I'm gonna be covering this up when I'm done with some plastic. I'm gonna do a little bit of texture on the walls and then hopefully, maybe even frame up this kitchen window over here with some of the cedar. I have a couple of little slabs back here that I was gonna use for a shelf up top, but I decided to go ahead and use those right now to frame out this window. So hopefully, at the end of today's video, I'll have this entire wall done with the texture, the window trimmed out, and then these cabinets stained. So I gotta stop talking, let's get to work. All right guys, so I'm prepping this right now. I wanna give two shout outs. First one is to Rich Life for this hoodie. Thanks so much, Timothy. It's always a pleasure to sport your gear. Um, it's not too cool of weather today, so I have my sleeves rolled up, but it's definitely a a nice hoodie to have, so go over and check them out, Tim at Ridge Life. And then also a shout out to my neighbor Jerry for taking me to a Cracker Barrel this morning out in Greenville, Texas. I had some steak and eggs, and oh my gosh, it was delicious. That uh, waitress was very nice. But I guess now that I have everything ready, dust off all the extra sawdust from yesterday, we're going to start staining this thing. So uh, Also, I forgot that uh, Veterans Day is this week, so thank a veteran. Uh, Comment down below and say thank you, Jerry, for serving or anybody that uh, has service members in their family that are veterans. Comment down below and uh, put their name so everybody can thank them. I think it's pretty awesome. So I've never uh, stained these before, so we're going to figure out how it comes out. Oh, yeah. Give it a little bit of that gold tone. I wanted these to stay a lighter color, that way it doesn't look too dark in this uh, little tiny house. I think that'll look really cool with this cedar back there on the top. I'm going to clear coat the cedar as well, so it's going to have those nice maroon colors that are going to be popping on here. I think it's going to come out pretty good. This is the point of the build that I get excited about seeing all the cosmetic stuff come together just little by little, but it does get me excited to come out here and work again. Doing sheetrock and insulation, stuff like that, it's too boring for me. I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And once again, it's just a poly stain, uh, stain and polyurethane all in one. It's a honey pine satin color. It was about uh, $12 for a quart, which should definitely be able to do all the stuff here that I need. I'm probably not going to end up doing the inside of the uh, drawers. Just the edges here and then I'll close it back up. If I get some on the inside it's not a big deal. I'm trying to let it soak in as much as possible. And I want to say uh, this piece right here, I think was uh, $35 roughly, and then the other one was about $120, so it was about $150 for the, the two shelves. I really don't need to do the top right here, but I'm just going to do it anyways. This would be covered up. But you get the idea of what it's going to look like. I'm trying to make sure there's no drip marks anywhere. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys down for time lapse while I finish this one up and then we'll check back in once it's done. guys so there's one coat like I said it's got the clear coat and the stain all in one this actually reminds me of the cabinets in my parents place upstairs I will go back in with just a polyurethane and go over it again with a clear coat just to make it super shiny but I like the way it came out it's got that nice little gold color to it it's not too dark and it kind of matches the ceiling up here so I think it'll all tie in once it's uh, completely done I got to get this side over here done next this is where the sinks gotta go so it goes from that to this over here. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this color. I actually kind of dig it. cabinet stained up right now I think it came out pretty good I'll probably hit it with another coat of uh, stain and then go back and uh, clear coat it once again but I like the way it came out it's nice and shiny I think it's gonna look awesome with the cedar slab once it's a uh, all this bark is taken off and it's clear coated and sanded down it's gonna look real nice and fancy and then it should match the ceiling up there so yeah you got that nice cedar look over there and I'm bringing it down here to the kitchen All right, so now that I got the cabinets stained, I'm gonna go ahead and cover them with plastic, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek on what the flooring's gonna look like. No, I'm not putting it in right now. I just wanna show you guys. It's a Life Proof brand. Check this out. Boom. I think it's gonna look pretty awesome with this flooring in here. I just laid these uh, six panels down. Uh, I'm gonna pull them back up. I just wanna show you guys. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. I like how it has all the different colors in it. It kind of gives it that old rustic look. Plus, I think it'll hide uh, a little bit of dust and stuff since it's got a lighter colors in it. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. So it's a waterproof rigid core vinyl plank flooring, an heirloom pine. It uh, has enhanced wear layer, easy drop lock installation, a sound mitigating underlayment, and it hides subfloor imperfections, which is really good. Check that out, guys. It was about $3 a square foot. I think it's going to be totally worth it. But once again, this is what it's going to look like. 
I like all the different colors in it. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, once again, I just laid them in. It's not in there perfect, but I will be pulling this back up. I just want to give you guys a sneak peek at the flooring. All right, guys. So I know I'm probably getting a lot of comments on what I'm about to do. I'm trying to think outside the box. I want this to be a something you don't normally see on tiny houses or uh, just houses in general. So trust me, it'll come together once it's done. But I picked up some of this Rust-Oleum. It's a protective enamel. I got it in oil-based in satin black. Yes, you heard that right, black. I'm about to paint this wall over here in between the tape, black. So let's get to work. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I know Matt and I know his favorite color is black, so I wanted to incorporate something black in this tiny house for him. So I decided to just go with black paint for the fireplace instead of anything else. I'm just kidding, people. That was a joke. This right here is going to be almost completely covered up. What I'm planning on doing is, I know what I'm doing, I'm going to be putting cedar over the top of this and there's gonna be little gaps in between the cedar planks. So you'll see black behind all the cedar planks instead of seeing the drywall color. So there was a reason why I did it black. Uh, we did this in the house as well. Uh, it, it definitely looks a lot better to have black behind it, something dark than having the sheetrock behind it. So that was the only reason I did this black. So I know some of you guys were probably freaking out as I was doing the time lapse, but there's a reason why I did it. And I think it's gonna look awesome when it's done. So you just gotta stick around and see the end results. So now that I freaked you out about this uh, black fireplace over here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, texture this kitchen wall. I've already marked off where the cabinets are down, so I'm not gonna texture below the blue line, just from here up. I'm hoping to at least get this wall done for this video, uh, possibly even that one over there. We'll have to see how fast this goes. Um, I'm, I'm a beginner, I'm a DIYer. Let's figure out and see how this goes. So I'm gonna put you guys back down on time lapse because nobody wants to watch me texture in slow motion.
so I finished texturing this kitchen wall as you can see. It's not perfect by any means, but I think it'll do. I also cut these cedar countertops to 82 inches wide. The countertops are by no means done at all. I still gotta make sure that they're uh, cut in the middle, push them together, glue them together, uh, seal them and all that. But uh, once again, there's the fireplace that I painted black. That's gonna be covered up by cedar. You're just gonna see little small uh, black creases in between the wood. And of course I stained the cabinets here. I think it came out pretty good. I'm gonna hit it with another coat of clear coat. And just give you an idea, once again, there's what the floor looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I worked out here for several hours getting all this stuff done. That's still a long ways away from being completely done. I think Jason's actually gonna be coming down next week, so uh, that'd be exciting. We'll be able to do the plumbing, finish out the bathroom wall, uh, do the hot water heater, everything else, that uh, the real technical stuff that I'm still kind of iffy on. But uh, I do want to give a shout out to my neighbor, Tom, uh, at, at home with Tom and Rhonda Howard. He texted me earlier and said, hey man, your uh, flag is down on the ground. I put up my American flag uh, today, actually, because tomorrow's going to be Veterans Day and I want to fly it for the rest of the week. And I guess some of the winds we had actually knocked it down. And uh, I look out the window and he's actually out there putting the flag up for me. So that's a true American, a true friend, and a true uh, patriot. So thank you so much, Tom, for doing that for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have missed any of the other videos, I have them on a playlist. I link it at the end of every video, so go back and check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.